Hi. In this video, I will show you how to render the famous infinite scan from uh, Lee Perry Smith using Guerrilla. Before we start, we have merged the OBG file objects in a single object and exported it to Alambic. Let's import this Alambic file. And here is our model. First I will change the near value of uh, this camera and let's render this model. So we obviously need some lights. I will create a distant light and move it like that. This is uh, my key light. And we duplicate it to create uh, a backlight like this. Alright, uh, let's try that. Alright, so first we need to set up some uh, subdivision uh, for this mode. Well, to do that, we go into uh, our model render graph and add an attribute node. In this node, we go into the subdivision tab and uh, smooth it and set some subdivision steps like 4. Now it's fine. Now we can add the displacement. To do that, we add the displacement shader in the render graph. And we put in the amount of attribute of the displacement shader the displacement texture, which is this one. We directly use the, the TIFF file. Which is linear. In order to work, we have to set up a few values in the uh, attributes node, like the displacement checkbox to activate the displacement, and the displacement amount. It's like a point for uh, point zero zero five. Let's take a look. Well, that's that looks fine. Let's now work on the on the skin shader. We'll remove this sh surface shader, uh, which uh, which is uh, which renders a plain white diffuse shader right now, and we replace it with the skin setup. So the skin setup is actually the surface shader, but when we have a look at the uh, overrides set by this node, we have some overrides uh, on uh, a specular the surf surface uh, and the index, index of refraction IOR, the diffuse color, the spec1 roughness, the three subsurface slope colors and a specific scattering width. This scattering will, width will obviously depend on the scale of the model. For this scan the width is something like 0 0.03. Let's render it like that in progressive mode. We have some nice results right now, and we are not even using any maps. We can now replace uh, the plain diffuse color by the actual diffuse texture from the scan. We don't need to build complex subsurface texture for each slope or whatever. And here we get. Uh, the real diffuse color cho chosen by uh, the artist in the diffuse map. Uh, and we, we we can see that we have some serious uh, skin scattering with three Gaussian lobes here. That's fine. 
Right now, uh, the bump is achieved only using uh, the displacements, so it's not very, very precise. It's not very sharp. It could be more uh, accurate. To do that, uh, we tell the displacement shader not to compute the normals anymore. And it does something like uh, that. There are no normals computed by the displacement. So we now replace uh, these normals by a, a bump map using the very same displacement texture to add some to add some bump to the model, to, to add the, the, the actual bump to the model. So let's click um, uh, the M button of the general normal attribute. We set it to bump map and drop the displacement map into the bump map file uh, input. Let's set the correct value for the bump amount, like 0 0.01. And now the bump is back. And it's much more precise than before. We can see sharp details. So here is the model after one minute of rendering uh, on the on the laptop. Um, we rendered the model with 64 samples per pixel, and it took uh, one minute and 20 seconds. We can see that you actually have indirect uh, illumination in the subsurface, which might not be done in other softwares. And everything is done with the very few very simple and straightforward overrides here. Thank you for watching.